are you? Spawn. A former government agent, Al Simmons was murdered on mission. Upon his entry to hell, Simmons drew a deal with the devil and was transformed into a demonic hellspawn and granted a vast array of supernatural powers for the purpose of doing his new master's bidding. However, upon returning to Earth, Simmons chose to deny his creator's wishes and instead used his newfound abilities to become a dark hero for the people of his hometown, taking down various organized crime syndicates. But what if this former CIA assassin, and now heroic hellspawn, was a trained force sensitive within the Star Wars universe? Would he identify as a Jedi? A Sith? Or would he perhaps fall into another category? Well it's finally here folks, the winner of the next installment in my Jedi or Sith series. Thank you all so much for your patience on this episode. You know the drill, we will examine Spawn's beliefs, abilities and personality traits to determine which type of force user he would be. As always I will be cross referencing various forms of media and continuities for both Star Wars and the source material for the character in question. Now then, with that out of the way, let's get on with it. Upon his rebirth, Al Simmons combined his experience as an assassin with his newfound supernatural powers. Combining the use of equipment such as firearms, with abilities such as complete control over both his chain and cape, a highly advanced healing factor, transformation, teleportation, and a whole host of others, Spawn combines military disciplined experience with hellish justice. In combat, Spawn is utterly ruthless when fighting against evil and will not hesitate to take such lives. With all of this discussed, let's take a look at the various categories of force users and attempt to find out if this heroic hellspawn would fit into any of them. The Jedi Knights are guardians of peace and justice throughout the galaxy. They maintain a humble lifestyle and seek to preserve life wherever possible, as it is considered precious. They commit themselves to the study and understanding of the light side of the Force. Pacifism, tranquility, and reasoning are some of their most profound qualities. There are many ways in which one could be considered a great Jedi. However, there is typically three different categories that one may fall under. The first is a Jedi who remains a member of the Order, but is considered to be unorthodox, or something of a maverick within their ranks. They do not affiliate with the dark side, but are often known to butt heads with council members, and often act according to their own beliefs and instincts, rather than strictly following the tenets of the Jedi Code. The second are those that believe the dark side of the Force can have its uses, and as a result, pull a section of their power from it. These types of Jedi are considered to be wildly unconventional, and must be extra vigilant when tapping into the power of the dark side, lest they succumb to its influence. The final form of a great Jedi is one that does not belong to the Order, but instead belongs to a separate faction, or none at all. These Force users do not commit themselves to the dark side. Saving lives and preventing the spread of evil is a common cause for both Spawn and the various forms of Jedi. However, there are various negative connotations that could arise from Spawn's use of such dark powers. This could lead to other members of the Order being very weary of his presence, as even the use of firearms is considered to be uncivilized by the majority of its members. Not to mention, his appearance can be very unsettling. However, there are various Jedi that would appreciate Spawn's abilities, and even his outlook on combating evil. We've still got two more sections to go however, so let's continue. A Dark Jedi is a Force user that pulls the majority of their power from the dark side of the Force. These Force users tend to follow their personal codes and philosophies of life. Some are known to be former Jedi that fell from grace and left the Order. 
often following this path after various life experiences, some of which may even belong to a specific faction, while others may be raised to fit this lifestyle from a young age, and as a result, simply don't know any better. The Sith are known as the ancient enemy of the Jedi, they follow their code under the tenets of the ancient Sith Order, and are often drive by such ambitions and feelings, such as hatred, lust, greed, passion, and anger. The lifestyle of the Sith Lord is both harsh and unforgiving. They seek to assert their will over others, manipulate, and tend to perceive all life outside of their ranks as beneath them. I feel that Spawn would attract a lot of attention from both Dark Jedi and Sith alike. Many would seek to exploit his abilities, and would attempt to turn him to their cause, while others might simply try to control him. If Spawn were to follow the path of the Dark Side, then I believe it would be a way of others attempting to manipulate him as opposed to out of a conscious belief of being superior to others, or out of a lust for power. But do I think he would align with them, or would he reject their way of life in favour of something more noble? When deciding on the conclusion for this video, I found it easier to first exclude the various categories that I don't think Spawn would align with. While there may be various Sith and Dark Jedi that might be able to pique his interest through their influence, I think he would quickly realise they are evil, if not, outright see through their deception, and thus would not take up the role of either a Dark Jedi or a Sith. After that, we are left with the traditional Jedi and the various forms of Grey Jedi. Considering the controversy that might arise from Spawn's abilities and methods, I feel that at best, a role for him within the Order would be the rank of a Jedi Sentinel. If not, then he would more likely become a mix of the second and third varieties of Grey Jedi pulling a portion of his power from the dark side of the force, whilst operating on his own terms. I do not see him becoming enemies with the Jedi, in fact, he may even work with them if need be. In terms of who I would give him a character comparison to, I'm honestly not sure. Characters like Kyle Katarn and Cade Skywalker come to mind for their use of dark side abilities, and Spawn's vast array of unusual powers lead me to think of the dark woman Anya Kuro. Hmm. Maybe a mixture of all three? What do you guys think? Alright, that was my fourth episode in the Jedi or Sith series. I really hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did, if not more. Spawn is both an awesome character and an absolute badass, and I can't wait to see how he handles in Mortal Kombat 11. Be sure to let me know what type of force wielder you think Spawn would be, and who he would share the most in common with. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on this, as I had a hard time thinking of who he could relate to. Anyway, that's enough from me for now, so as always, be sure to follow me on Twitter for updates, and until next time, may the force be with you. Oh, and here's a little teaser for the next character who's going to appear on the series. Enjoy. Granted Raiden's request, it's a regret we share.